we see the good, the bad, and the ugly on social media. But when it comes to a new account focusing on the Duke City, we're seeing mostly the ugly. We're talking about an account called Albuquerque Foos, or F-O-O-S. It shows what you could see on the streets of Albuquerque on any given day, from fights to people dancing. Some of these videos are dark, and it seems people can't look away. Several of these videos have hundreds of thousands of views. Cassie Foote spoke with a local social media expert today. Cassie, how do they think this account and others like it are affecting our city's reputation? Well, I talked to the owner of a local digital public relations and advertising agency. She says, yes, while it could hurt Albuquerque's image, it could also bring about some positive changes. I do want to warn you, though, some of the videos we're going to be showing you from that account could be tough to watch. You want to see some of Albuquerque's beauty? You can find it on social media, including on downtown.abq, an Instagram account that promotes our city. You want to see the dark side of Albuquerque? Well, you can find that too. We muted this video because of explicit language, but it's just one of many street fights you'll find on a new Instagram account called Albuquerque Foos, slang for fools. The creator of this account began posting this September and already has 18,000 people following and watching these videos. Most of the videos show a less than tasteful side of the Duke City. Some of them have hundreds of thousands of views. And as the account gains steam, is it hurting our image? We asked people visiting Old Town. It happens. <laughs> it, it does. I mean, no matter where you are, there's always some situations that has too much testosterone. Right? We, we saw that in right? uh, New Orleans. This yeah, last, same, yeah, same. Same so stuff. Just Cities have problems, and I think uh, in some weird way it gives exposure to those problems. Not all the videos are violent, but they may still leave you scratching your head. Ooh, so yeah, <laughs> Not the cards. <laughs> But even any social media channel is going to tell the honest to God truth about what they see in their communities because just like traditional media, everybody's a reporter. Crystal Ciarza Moon is the CEO of Ciarza Digital Public Relations and Advertising. They do social media campaigns across the nation and here in Albuquerque. She says this account is just one of many. The others focus on other cities. And this is a syndicate account that not many people realize. There's a Texas Foods, there's a Foods Network, um, there's a San Antonio Foods. But she says the account could actually be a good thing because it shows us what problems we need to tackle. I don't want to say that we're completely numb to it because there's still great nonprofits, organizations, community leaders that are taking action from what they've seen from social media. And others who call Albuquerque home say they're still proud of it. Have you heard of it? Mm -mm. Okay. No. And our city's beauty outshines any negative social media attention. Look at this place. You know what I mean? It's beautiful out here. I don't think anything like that could affect anybody's opinion about Albuquerque, New Mexico. I reached out to the creator of that Instagram account. They did not respond to my message, but they do have a post saved to their account that says, we do not condone violence or drugs. We just post stuff that's going on in Albuquerque. The harsh realities around us. Tommy.